This is Chaplain Paul Northcutt, and I'm here at the Main Street Mission. And today we have a new friend who came in and got his Thanksgiving dinner, and we talked a little bit, and he shared with me a poem that I thought was just very, very appropriate, and I wanted you all to hear it. So um, why don't you give us your name first, and then you can recite your poem. My name is Archie Pilgrim, and the title of the poem is I Am the Homeless. I Am the Homeless. Well, Archie, go ahead. Once again, I lay my head upon this heap I call my bed. All day long, I walk the slums. I see the people known as bums. The binding string, the common thread, the echoed voices in their head. I am the homeless. I fight to find the food I eat, the worn out shoes upon my feet. I check each face to find a friend, someone with which my time is spent. The sun comes up, the sun goes down does not change from town to town. I am the homeless. I never hurry through the rain. It helps to wash away my pain. And I wonder why I should cry as the well-to-do just walk on by. I share my time, I give a smile, and then I try to make another mile. I am the homeless. From the north will the winter come to take away the heating sun. And with the winter comes the snow. And then those cold, cold winds will blow. Frozen fingers with frozen toes. But still for me, no place to go. I am the homeless. My own ears will hear my sighs, and my own hands will dry my eyes. But when I bow my head to pray, I will ask God for another day. A piece of bread, a piece of meat, what he gives me, I will eat. I am the homeless. I found me comfort in what I read. He had no place to lay his head. And if you help the least of these, you have done even the same to me. The Son of God, the Son of Man, he also walked this barren land. I am the homeless. Archie, that just blesses my heart. I appreciate you very much. Uh, now, you were raised here in Arkansas? Yes, sir. Worcester, Arkansas. All Worcester, right, Worcester. Worcester. <laughs> All righty. And you told me you were 57? 57 years old. And basically, about how long have you been homeless? Uh, about 25 years. <laughs> 25 years. All right. <laughs> now, before we let you go, I want you to do one more thing for me. I know you've got a song. Oh. Would you be willing to share that with us? Yes, I kind of wish I had a guitar, though. <laughs> I'd like to do that. All right. It's called It Satisfies Me. Do it loud if you can. Okay. In the garden of Gethsemane, oh, I can see my Savior there as he talks to the Father in earnest prayer. He says, if it be thy will, Lord, let this cup pass from me. But if not, Lord, it satisfies me. Now if it satisfies you, Lord, then it satisfies me. These few words may my prayers ever be. If you have me high on a mountain or in a valley on my knees, either way, Lord, it satisfies me. On the hillside of Golgotha, as they nail him to the cross, and the blood from his side comes streaming down. Father, please, please forgive them all the words I hear him say. And now it's finished, and it satisfies me. Now if it satisfies you, Lord, then it satisfies me. These few words may my prayers ever be. If you have me high on a mountain or in a valley on my knees, either way, Lord, it satisfies me. Now the signs of the times, they are on our every hand. How my heart longs to see the promised land. If I go by the grave, Lord, or in the rapture, your face I'll see. Either way, Lord, it satisfies me. Now if it satisfies you, Lord, then it satisfies me. These few words may my prayers ever be. If you have me on a mountain or in a valley on 
my knees. Either way, Lord, it satisfies me. Yes, if it satisfies you, Lord, then it satisfies me. These few words may my prayers ever be. If you have me on a mountain or in a valley on my knees, either way, Lord, it satisfies me. Yes, either way, Lord, it satisfies me. Man, I appreciate it. Thank you. All righty. I'll try to get me a good time. <laughs> any conclusion, any concluding words you'd like to share with us? Um, well, the phrase that comes to my head, come, let's follow the king. Amen. What's that king's name? Jesus. Jesus. Lord of Lord and King of Kings. There you go. God bless you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. And God bless you.